testing one two <laughs> yep i think the mic is working that's what the pros do that's what the pros do and i'm so, a pro motherfucker did you just get into it i'm trying oh okay jay what's going on hey chris how's it going sorry i didn't give a, a whole bunch of notice for this little deal I was just wanting to pick this winter and going live to do this just makes it a little easier so I don't have to film it and then upload it and all that stuff. So, oh, we got some more people coming in. Awesome. You guys hear me just fine? Got 12, got likes. Dang. Benny Blade Play, what's up? How's it going? Can you guys hear me just fine? Hello, my daughter. Message retracted. What yes, were you going to yes, say? Sir. Perfect. <clears throat> awesome. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? Mick, how you doing? How's it going over in Norway, Sweden? I can't remember. Mm. Mix, mix from overseas. Wow, we got all sorts of people in here. Tom, how are you doing? Good evening, sir. Video quality is great, too. Well, excellent. So I've just got some, uh, since we're doing a Tucson giveaway, I just threw some Tucson love out here on the on the screen just for something, for your face balls. You guys know what I'm saying? Something pretty to look at. Yeah, and my wife's here as well. Uh, you know, we can't can't stay up too, too much longer. She's... Uh, I'm so she's, tired already. Yeah, she's already past her bed. So... Anyway, Ashley, how are you doing? Wife. <laughs> Warren from Texas, how are you doing, sir? Awesome. We got a bunch of people in here. You like? Yeah. Cool. Do you uh you guys have any questions or anything? Or do you want to just get right into this uh into this uh giveaway winner picking? Oh, look at everybody saying hi to me. They like me most. <laughs> hi, everybody. That's probably true. Oh, well, I am the fun one. Right on. Well, depending on the day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Who else we got? Jesse, how you doing, sir? Loving that 6-6 six, six, uh, CJRB. My That's name's a Molly, a.k.a. Bad Mamma Jamma. <laughs> Yeah. Now her head's swelling up. So, yeah, guys, uh, what you can't say here, I'm uh, getting my my uh, iPad involved here so I can get the comment generator going. What's that one somebody wants to know? Oh, uh, this is the uh, TS67 Fire, I'm pretty sure. This is a really cool knife. It's all uh, flame anode, titanium, uh, frame lock, of course. See if we can get it to focus. Uh, I'm pretty sure they've only made this one in D2, but really cool design. This blade, uh, I've got a review out there on this. This blade has zero distal taper, so it makes it the blade uh, pretty heavy uh, out on the end, but the action on it is is fantastic. So... Yeah, cool, cool knife and pretty good size knife. It's like uh, uh, maybe even close to a four inch blade. So, you know, not very tall this way, but definitely long. So, yeah, six, TS67 Fire. Yes, Molly. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, everybody. So, what else? Who else we got in here? JD, how's it going, Mr. Shadowborn? I need a new nickname. I fucked up. <laughs> She's the boss. <laughs> Ashley, you're giving away too that. much credit. Yeah. I am all talk. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, that's great. I'm glad uh, I'm glad you guys anybody else have any other questions or anything for whatever? Doesn't matter what it is, doesn't have this here uh 
is a Tepe design. I've been posting some stuff lately on the Tepe designs uh, Hornet 2. And this here is another Tepe. This is the TS-134. It's a great little knife. M390 blade steel. It's, it's beautiful. I like that color. Yeah, the purple is really cool. This here is a, an outstanding knife. This is the TS-129. Just a stellar knife in uh, 14C blade steel. Keeps the buffering it's a, it's a on It's great. Off. Oh, it stopped. Okay. Sorry, BJ. I, I don't want to hear about dogs named Molly, so you can just <laughs> keep talk off the chat. I'm pretty bitter if you can't tell. Yeah, that's been going on for years. Every time we meet someone new and they find out my wife's name is Molly, they all say, oh, so-and-so's got a dog named Molly. Fuck it, I'm changing my name. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, it's pretty funny. So, well, we can get into... <laughs> Nobody has to be sorry. <laughs> Tucson cranks out models constantly, but they're all awesome. Yeah, JD, they, they are really great. Um, I certain There's certainly some of them that I'm not a huge, huge fan of, just the, the <laughs> aesthetics. I mean, the build quality on all of them is, is really fantastic, but... You know, they make some like hawk bill blade stuff that is that I'm not really into. That's not really my jam. But uh, you know, to each their own. I'm sure there's tons of people out there that love those knives. So so that's cool. And yeah, it's but from a quality standpoint, they're all really, really spectacular. Like this guy right here, this is the TS162. And I've modified this one slightly. If you guys haven't seen that video shape and cut, I don't know, probably it's of an inch or so off the top of this guy. But this is a great knife. You can pick this thing up for well under $100 in uh, 12C20 and S90V. And even the S90V version you can pick up for maybe just over 100 bucks, you know, like $110, $115, something like that. So really, really spectacular knife. And the quality of the carbon fiber is really just beautiful. There's no huffing while we're going live. Stop it. Sorry, guys. My we, we have three dogs. If you guys can't hear them in the background, they're nails on the hardwood floor. Um, we have a boxer named Emma. We have a half boxer, half bull mastiff named Walter. And then we have a newer addition, uh, He's cuddling with the kid. Oh, he's cuddling with one of the kids. Um, he's uh, his at his mom actually was an illegal immigrant. <laughs> actually, she was a she was a stray Chihuahua that my dad picked up. Uh, my dad and stepmother down in Texas near the border. Yeah, right near the border. My dad's got a house down there, um, like five miles away from Mexico, and so it was fun giving him a hard time about uh, that he was harboring illegals and whatnot. It was it was a yeah ton of fun. No, but anyway. I'm not naming any of my dogs Molly. <laughs> Why would I do that? Yeah. So. No, I don't, Mick. <clears throat> Maybe next. I like um, older, like twenties type popular names. What's in the top right? This one here, namaste. Yeah, this is the, uh, if, the if this is the correct one, namaste, let me know if this is the one you were talking about. But uh, this is the Tucson TS-81. Uh, this is titanium bone inlay. And I've actually, think I'm pretty sure some anodizing on this guy and, and dye the bone a different color. Uh, it's D2 blade steel. It's a Wong design. Got a ceramic ball in the pocket clip there. Really, really great knife. Smash the like button. <laughs> so, yeah, Tucson TS81 is this one. And you can pick this guy up cheap. Uh, I've seen these things go for, you know, 50 or 60 bucks. And it's just a, a gorgeous knife for that kind of money. Is it human bone? <laughs> uh, but possibly, I, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I doubt it. Yeah, I, I doubt it too. But you know, it's fun to think about. Right. This one right here. This is a little slip joint. This is the a Jelly Jerry design. 
M390. Uh, this is the Tucson TS-221. Uh, really gorgeous knife. Got a reversible pocket clip. Got a bunch of fingerprints on it. But got a sweet, sweet blood groove there with bloodletting holes and all. For a modern traditional, it's a really cool knife. Pocket clip's great. Yeah. Dog bone? Cool. Yeah, hmm. might be. I'm not sure. That's sad. <laughs> be more sad about dog bone. I don't want a black lab, but thank you. I like them. Yeah, we actually just, used to have a we used to have a, a black lab half black, black lab. lab boxer mix. Yep, he was a really good dog. His name was Leroy. Yep, Leroy. <clears throat> um, somebody asked, um, what your favorite Tucson knife is, or or oh, maybe boy. one you've really been wanting. Uh, well, Calibone. I have the channels and whatnot is called the TS one seven seven Maverick. Uh, that's actually a collaboration between uh, Nine Design, which is who did this one I got in my hand here, uh, as well as Tepe Design. Uh, the two of these guys did the 177 together, and it's a really, really awesome. That it's uh, on its way. And then another one that I think is super cool, a, a new one, uh, is the Tucson... TS-198, a uh, really, really neat-looking knife. Uh, it's a, a long design. So, yeah, there's some really cool stuff out there. As far as my favorites go, um, the, the 162, this one here is a really spectacular knife. Uh, the 129, also just a gorgeous knife. I don't know that I necessarily have a favorite Tucson. There's uh, certainly one that I like more than others. Uh, this guy right here. No, we haven't picked yet. Great, great knife. Uh, yeah. Hey, Drakes, how's it going? Holy cow. Hey, Zach, how's it going? We got a lot of people in here. Bottom right hand, second one in. Bottom right. This one right here. Mm -hmm. This is the Tucson TS-165. Uh, another Wong design, uh, just a gorgeous knife. I'm generally not a huge fan of knives that commit your fingers to a specific uh, grip position, but this one works excellent in my hand. Uh, you know, I can't speak for anybody else's hands, but I've got pretty big hands and it works great in my hands. So if you have larger hands, I would say the the 165 is a, a great knife. And they make this in a lot of different uh, versions. You can This one here is rocking 12C27, uh, but you can get it with the tie just like this with M390. You can also get it, a, they have a budget model that's rocking uh, layered black and white G10 uh, scales with uh, 14C. 28 end blade steel and yeah the, it's just a gorgeous knife and the fact that it has the the finger grooves or whatever you want to call this the finger choils across the top of the knife i really thought that was going to be weird or feel weird in hand and, and you can't feel it at all uh it it really works works extremely well in hand just really really well done knife so definitely one that i would recommend for sure so, yeah, that's just Wong, for sure. Uh, Wong Design does some amazing stuff, and it just blows my mind how fast they come out with new models. It, it's it's really hard to keep up with. There's just so much of it coming. I mean, it's like drinking from a fire hose. It's it's pretty unbelievable. S177 is a, a really cool knife that I'm pretty excited about, and... Uh, yeah, it's it's been out for a while now, and I just haven't had a chance to look at it yet. But uh, yeah, they just come out with so many models so fast; it's crazy. Hey, Justin Mondak, what's going on? Kiefer, how you doing? Yeah, Zach's everywhere. He is everywhere. Zach gets around, man, for sure. Touch something. Touch something. Okay. Okay. My wife was telling me to touch something here, so I just started touching something. 
<laughs> uh, tactical center. Yeah, I wish Excuse they did center. names as well. Uh, it seems like here lately, I'm sure you guys are seeing this too, where a lot of knife designers are putting it out on Instagram and stuff. Hey, name this knife and name this design. And honestly, I believe that that's just a function of how fast they're coming out with new. Uh, this is the uh, 169. Tucson TS-169, and some of these do have names. Um, I refer to them by number just because that's the way I uh, keep them straight in my mind. I know that's not always the easiest thing for everyone else, but uh, this here's a, I'm going to wipe the blade off. It's got fingerprints everywhere. Groovy, groovy, groovy. But this is a, if I can get it to focus. Come on. Hello. There we go. You can see, though, this is a night morning design in 14C28N. Really, really great knife. I love the simple just two-screw construction, and it's it's almost round. Uh, the, it's super contoured, so you can see there that, it's, you know, it's almost round or cylindrical. It's a, it's a cool knife, and it's also a full-size knife, you know, and really, really small, minimal flipper tab. It's, it's a cool one for sure. Um, dig the pocket clip. This is one that definitely needs some anodizing done to it. So and it's got kind of a Laconico feel there and look uh, just in its simplicity and the, the milled groove. You know, it's similar to the, uh, oh, the mass drop Laconico, the Keen. I can't, yeah. But as far as the names are concerned, I was talking about, uh, I think it's just because so many designers are coming out so fast that they just can't come up with good names uh, quickly enough. So they're just putting it out to the, the community and trying to get people to name the knives for them. And, you know, I don't know, it, it's, I think it's fine. I, I'm kind of indifferent about it, I guess. Cause on, on one hand, I feel like if it's your design, I, I would think that most knife designers kind of look at these as their children. And, you know, to me, I wouldn't leave, uh, the naming of one of my children to someone else. So I think that's a little bit strange. And I think maybe it's, it's just the, one of the, to me, it's just one of the kind of telltale signs that maybe as the, as an industry, everybody needs to just slow down a bit instead of racing to just throw as much shit out there as possible. For sure. Yeah. Like pipe down, make a quality piece. I kind of dislike designers because they just want to pump out design. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Tactical center. Um, they're just throwing stuff out as fast as they can just to see, you know, what will catch on and what will, will, uh, you know, hopefully be a big hit. So Tony V Sue. Sue Nelson, hello, how are you doing? Chris yeah, Gonzalez, what's going on, guys? Uh, Chris Gonzalez just won a knife. I think he won from Blade Banker. Chris, did you win Blade Banker's giveaway? I know you won somebody, somebody's giveaway here not too long ago. I don't recognize the name. Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, so anyway, guys, let me, uh, I'm going to start setting some of these out of the way and I'm going to get my iPad out here. If you got any other questions or requests, <laughs> what? Somebody said that, uh, well, Kyle said that it'd be cool if they named a knife the Molly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Only if it had a tail and hair, right? I mean, hey, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> For those that came in late, we were talking about dogs named Molly. That's my wife's name, by the way, is Molly. And she gets she gets a little bitter when people say that they know someone or they have a dog named Molly. Everybody does. <laughs> Why don't you guys name your dogs interesting things? So I'm going to shut this light off here just because that <laughs> seems to work a little better. And I already went and copied and pasted the URL for the video. So hopefully everybody can see that. I got filter duplicate users. Oh, hold on a second here. Ooh, Mary Jane's a good dog name. That, that was my grandma's name. 
All right. So I'm going to go ahead and Selena. I'm going to get the YouTube comp. Oh, that can't be correct. Hold on just a second, guys. I got to I'm going to go back and copy that URL again because it said there was only six comments and I know that is incorrect. So give me just a second here. <laughs> yes, Molly is definitely a party drug, which I'll, you know, I mean, I, that's my spirit animal more than dogs. No, I shouldn't say that because that's not true. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> somebody said, <laughs> Tom said, I had a next door neighbor named Molly. She was hot. Well, I'm sorry, Tom. I am not hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you're also married. And I'm married. Yeah. Probably should have led with that one. <laughs> right? Like maybe that probably would have been the thing to say is. I mean, sorry, I'm getting Tom. old. Sorry, Tom. I'm married. I got to, um, you know, take it where I um, can get it. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> Kidding. So, all right. So here we go. I finally got the correct YouTube video in here. Ooh, Chris, I hope that all goes well for you. He's got chemo starting on Tuesday. Oh, Chris Gonzalez? No, Molly is not short for something. Yes. Yes, Chris Start Gonzalez. Tuesday. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I hope things are going well and yeah, hopefully... Hopefully you, you don't uh, have too many issues with that. Oh, my God. They're all. <laughs> What's that? Hot and married? Yeah. No, I said not hot. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Chris, hopefully, uh, hopefully things work out there for you. Yeah. It's pretty amazing what uh, modern medicine can do. Gosh, so, and the leaps that they make on a regular basis lately is amazing. Yeah, it's pretty unbelievable. Yeah, John, cancer does suck. That's for sure. Hard. It sucks so hard. Yeah. It seems like, you know, you just can't even find any people that their lives haven't been touched, touched by, by cancer right. somehow or another. Um so you just gotta really, do your due diligence and do all the testing for your family lineage and yeah, you know, just keep a good uh, keep a good attitude and and uh, think positive things, man. I think I feel like state of mind has a lot to do with it. For sure, I've seen some people just uh, just give up when they hear some bad news, and then you know the people that choose to to fight, uh, you know, they always have a better outcome for sure. So. Stay positive, Chris, and hopefully uh, it's nothing too terribly serious. Oh, and Ashley's going through it for her second time. You stay tough, too. For sure. I see you already have that strong will. So, going to nuke I it. mean, hell yeah, brother. Keep it up. That's the attitude to have for sure. Charles McLaughlin, McLaughlin says his dad has cancer. Huh. Well, that's cool. About the case big, knives? Yeah, case knife collection. Yeah. I personally am not huge into case knives. I, I certainly I know there's tons of people that are, and, and I just don't really know a whole lot about them. There's certainly some really cool ones, though. Uh, all right, guys. So here's the, the video here, and we've got 184 unique comments. So... We are going to, I gotta go this way. Surely that many people don't care about what you have to say. I can't imagine. I don't know. <laughs> it blows my mind. I can't believe that there's 47 people in here right now listening to this. <laughs> this uh, tomfoolery. Guys, <laughs> are you trolling us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So is everyone ready to pick this winner? There you guys just want to sit here and bullshit some more. It's past my bedtime. Oh, guys. yeah, it's past her bedtime. <laughs> all right. Everyone, all right. Well, let's get into it. Um, Antonio, the synthetic one. Oh, they must be talking about something. Oh, yeah, the bone. We, the bone and the TS81. Yeah. So. yeah. 
talk about what kind of bone. All right. Warren from Texas says, yeah, <laughs> Zach says, let's BS more. Right on. All right. Jeff says, do it. You want to reach in there and hit that start button? Because I'm holding this with both hands. Oh, I don't have All right. nails, Here we dude. go. Here we go. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Mm -hmm. Stop. Oh. <laughs> Rick. Rick Karens. So this gentleman, um, yeah, he had some help. As you can see there, his comment, it says, I really like the channel. Unfortunately, I had to miss some due to health issues. Look forward to seeing this giveaway. That looks like a really nice knife and flashlight. The swag is always great. Hope you had a good Christmas and a good New Year. And then Rick has also hit me up on Instagram and just sent me uh, some messages the other day. So, yeah, that's really cool. And honestly, I guess I didn't even go over what we were actually giving away to recap on that. So, uh, is Rick in here? Tonight? I haven't seen any haven't seen comments. Rick. No. Okay. Certainly, so I mean, he comments on a bunch of videos. So, yeah. Uh, let me throw this to the side really quick, and then uh, turn my light back on. The uh, <clears throat> so the knife that that I was given away was the Tucson TS one twenty seven. And this is a G10 and carbon fiber model uh, with a 12C27 blade steel. Just a gorgeous knife. It's a full size, full size knife. And then we had the uh, SMKW little cloth deal. And then I had my man JB from Big Red EDC. Uh, some of his stickers. I've won a couple of uh, JB Saturday Night Lives, and and actually, I, <laughs> due to the what was on my screen, I actually thought that I won it again last night. Which, I, like I said, I I I would have given it back anyway, just because I feel like I've I I've never won anything in my life, but I've won a couple of his uh, uh, Saturday Night Live deals, which is super cool. But uh, yeah, and, and for anyone that was on there last night uh, on my screen, it showed that that uh i won but anyway there was a lot of buffering and stuff but so i got some of his stickers here which are really cool we got some smkw stickers uh the sharper things one which is really neat and then i've got uh, the big red edc uh bracelet you can see that there it says big red edc on it bye chris and stay then, strong dude yeah see you later chris uh the i3 UV EOS flashlight. And then I've got some of my stickers. I just got some uh, new stickers that my wife here. Uh, Handcrafted by this bitch. Yeah, my wife uh, <laughs> did this little design. And uh, so, yeah, so that's what's going to be in the box. So, Mr. Rick, uh, yeah, that's awesome. So, anyway, guys, uh, hanging out. I don't know. Anybody got any questions or anything or anything you want to see, talk about? You want to know the meaning of life or anything like that, or, you know, how a black hole's formed or something. <laughs> <laughs> how tornadoes are made. Yeah, or... how tornadoes are made or what makes the sky blue. and How Chevys run. <laughs> real <laughs> tornadoes. <laughs> like real tornadoes. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, LTK. Yeah, I saw LTK's video on the TS-177. I'm jealous that it's not in my hands yet. Hey, Jason Gilfoyle, how you doing, sir? I'm actually going to be down in your neck of the woods here in a couple weeks. So, yeah. Oh, thank you, Benny. I, What's that? He said I'm funny and I have a good personality. Oh, nice. Thank she, you. She's got you fooled, Benny. Oh, got you stop. Fooled. <laughs> Are aliens real? Yes. What is your definition of aliens? I think a lot of people have different ideas. I mean, if we're talking like ET, I can't confirm that. But no, uh, but I, it's I an hope. opinion piece. <laughs> yeah. Was that your entire Tucson collection? No, that was not. That was just a handful that I brought out just to start this off. Hilltop said he's letting Rick know that. Oh, right on. Awesome. Yeah, I don't have his actual contact info, but yeah, BJ, if you want to let him know and 
have him uh, shoot me over. He can hit me up on Instagram or whatever. Uh, or actually, you got my phone number. You can pass that along to Rick if you want. Uh, he can text me or whatever. It doesn't matter. However, you, however he wants to handle it. Uh, Jeff's referring to extraterrestrial beings. Extraterrestrial beings. I hope they are because I think, and honestly, I feel like it would be very, very uh, close-minded of us to feel like we're the only intelligent being. There's got to be something out there. there. Yeah, if there. we could have, you know, uh, formed from a molecular level and grown to be what we are, surely there's got to be similar scenarios somewhere else in this universe. Right? Yeah. Hey, Ashley, you have a great night, too. Uh, we can't. Oh, Benny says I should be on here more often. I'm the star <laughs> of the show, obviously. T Tony V uh, says that uh, Chad and him spent the whole day making a knife out of an old bastard file. Hey, man, <laughs> I, I honestly, I the first knife I ever made was out of an old... Uh, uh, a horse rat or a like a farrier's rasp uh, years and years ago. I mean, I was probably, well, I started welding and working with metal at a very young age. Uh, See, so, it's Ashley's bedtime too. She knows what's up. Yeah, but Ashley probably lives in freaking in the UK or something. <laughs> it's, no, it's not nine. It's because women Ashley sleep is. at normal times and get up early and do productive things. Oh, all day. here we go. Here we go. Yeah, now you're starting to see the shit Bye, talk Ashley. from Molly. It's getting deep. I'm going to have to go get my hip waders. Do you want me to go get the horse shit? Oh, she lives shovel? in the U.S. She lives in the U.S., but she probably lives on the East Coast. <laughs> Ashley, tell us where you live. I bet it's East Coast. Or at least East time zone. Um, I'm going to crack up if Barry, she's in the Midwest. Barry's in Colorado. Boom! Colorado. 1016. She's Eastern time zone. Girl. Yeah. So, you a party animal. Yeah. Ashley's Ashley's getting it done. Doing it big. <laughs> I think she doesn't get up as a In Pennsylvania. Me, yeah, exactly, Mondak. I need to get my boots. It's getting deep. Yeah. I have that <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, Kinda Ashley, we, we live in Iowa, so we're central time zone. It is only nine. Well, it's 917 now. But. I have a strict bedtime routine. I have to read. <laughs> because you know, I like eating. Yeah, because I'm a geek. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a dork too, so it's all good. So, yeah. Bye, well, Mondak. Elvis smashing the like button. Elvis just getting it done, doing it big. <laughs> North Dakota, <laughs> West Coast. Do you have a bag? Yeah, <laughs> got a bag. <laughs> um, Tom says we're in Pennsylvania. Carbonite. Oh. He says 817 and in the AZ. Down no shout outs to the West Coast. We, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> California. <laughs> knows how to party. Kiefer's in Michigan. Michigan's good nice. stuff. Yeah. North in Dakota. Hey. In Tennessee. North Dakota. North yeah, Dakota. sure. You betcha. Yeah, sure. You betcha. <laughs> Up here in North Dakota. Feed the dogs. It's past their dinner time, sir. <laughs> Warren from Texas. Well, depending on where he's at in Texas. Texas. Could oh. Be, could, well. It's like an hour, side, maybe two? Not two. No, not right? two. Just one. If he's on the west side, it could be. Mm. But most of Texas is central time zone. I suppose our dogs have a pretty strict schedule anyway. <laughs> Mick? Idaho in here. Oh. He to pimp. Oh, yeah, I to pimp. <laughs> Utah and Ida Pimp. I love so, Idaho. It's yeah. my most favorite place on earth. I just learned. I actually work out there quite a quite often. I travel out to uh, Washington, Oregon, and Idaho quite often for work. And uh, I took my my lovely wife with me the last time I went out there, and so we got to spend some time in around the Boise area. We did a little a little gallivanting and it was a ton of fun and it's just beautiful. We drove up to Idaho city and yeah, it was, it was absolutely gorgeous. Up oh, in the mountains. I feel you Ashley on the whole very strict schedule routine, but luckily I don't have young ones like that to deal with anymore. We are past that. Yeah. Our kids are, we started young, so 
So we're, we almost done. <laughs> yep, we're almost done. Yep, my son is uh, literally he he's already enlisted in the Air Force and about to turn eighteen. About to turn eighteen, actually, at the end of this month, and uh, he won't go into the Air Force until uh, middle of July. And then uh, our daughter is in. She just turned teen. Yep, just turned thirteen, and so we're we're nearing the end. It's pretty unbelievable because we're still young enough. We're about to party when our kids are out of the house. We like to think that anyway. Yeah, well, that probably won't happen. It'll honestly, probably be more like leisurely old person travel or. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. But at least it's fun to talk about. Yeah. And we like to think that we're going to do some, you know, partying and traveling and carrying on once our kids are out of the house. But we, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to stay up till 1030 p.m. On work night. Mick, you live 50 <laughs> minutes from... I'm sorry, Mick. I started this out by saying that you were from overseas, but I must have you confused with <laughs> someone else. That scream, it's the Kim, or I don't, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but Kim, uh, the last Kim? name. There's someone from like uh, uh, Norway or Sweden that has a very similar last name. But anyway, Boise area. I love Boise. It's one of my, my favorite cities yeah. by far. Uh, Boise Fryco, if you haven't if you don't go there, you should. That place is amazing. And uh, Barbacoa in Boise is legit. That place knows how to get her done. That's mom life, Ashley. That is mom life. 29 now. Our year now will done. come. Yeah. Yeah. Long eye. I'm not sure what you mean by long eye. So kime. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was I, was, I <laughs> forgot that we were even pronouncing the last name. Is it uh, German? A German last name? Yeah. All right, Lois, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Kiefer, what's your Instagram? There you go. Apparently, same as his YouTube. Yeah, obviously. So. <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Awesome. Well, guys, I don't know if uh, I think we're probably going to shut this down. My wife's got to go to bed and and read her stories. So. <laughs> I'm on the last. Oh, few Benny pages. says I'm actually in Cal California native. We moved to the Midwest, Missouri. Yeah, we're, Missouri. We're at in Missouri, Benny. That's that's my stomping grounds. I'm around Missouri. Well, we live in Iowa, but I travel to Missouri and Kansas all the time. Iowa, Missouri, and Kansas is where I spend all my time. Hey, Zach, have a great uh, great week. And hey, Zach, if you would please do something kind for someone. <laughs> that's that's what Zach always says. Oh, well, do isn't that kind. thoughtful? It is. It's very thoughtful. Huh. What do we got here? <laughs> Where to next, Zach? Yeah, Zach gets around, man. That guy is everywhere. Much love. Right on, Zach. Thanks a lot, man. Ashley, go to Blade Show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to go to Blade Show this year. Molly and I are, so I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, Drake's Dadgum Knives is from St. Louis. What up? The STL. I think I, Ashley and I just became best friends. Did we just become best friends? <laughs> Benny Blade Play, Springfield. That's my stomping grounds, Benny. I'm down there all the time, son. Night, Ashley. Um, I, I really like Springfield. And actually, my mother just moved to Springfield, uh, Missouri from mm. Illinois. Is Blade Show in Georgia? Uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. The ATL. Yes. Oh, yes. Hot Atlanta. I have a friend. I have one friend. I Love Knives <laughs> is from Joplin. Nice. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's real nice down there. Yeah, for sure, Benny. Uh, yeah. Des Moines is, is basically, Springfield, Missouri reminds me a ton of Des Moines. And that's, we live just outside of Des Moines. Uh but uh, Des Moines is bigger than Springfield, but still, it's it's a really nice area. <laughs> do, do I work construction? No, I do not. Um, I actually work for a geothermal manufacturer, and I am a territory manager, and I cover seven states. So 
we we make uh, geothermal ground source heat pumps or water source heat pumps, if you will. <clears throat> so I used to work in construct. Well, actually, I've done, done several things in my life, but he done uh, did did it before. Done did did it. Yeah. Too damn broke to go to Blade Show. Uh, buy the whole top stand. Yeah, Tops makes some awesome fixed blades. I really love their stuff. They do some really cool stuff. Yeah, Benny, I don't blame you. I love I love it down there in Springfield as well. All right, Ashley, you have a great night. You better go go check on the girls and read your stories tonight. <laughs> yeah, gotta get the stories. My stories is on. Hey, don't make fun. Uh, yeah, Geo's big in Boise for sure. Yeah, yeah, Geo's. Uh, um, yeah, for anybody that's in here, if you're interested. Geo Boise, the whole downtown area actually runs on naturally occurring hot springs. All the heating down there, it's really cool. Um, but yeah, it's really big in in Boise for sure. So yeah, that's what I'm doing when I go out in that area. So just thermal gerbil things. Yeah. I've been thirsting after a cut. Huh. In it anyway. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely, Mick. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool out there in Boise. You guys have all the naturally occurring hot springs out there is, is really, really interesting and cool for sure. But, uh, well, guys, I really appreciate it. I love all the support. I love doing this stuff with you guys and getting to hang out and just kind of BS. It's a lot of fun. And thanks so much for supporting me and my channel. Uh, if anybody wants uh, these OCD for EDC stickers, uh, shoot me an email or hit me up on YouTube and send me a buck or something just to cover. Uh, just a donation. Yeah, donation. Uh, basically and then I'll, I'll mail these out to you um, they're exactly the size of a business card so to give you some sort of idea of the size of them but uh, anyway thanks a lot guys thanks a lot for hanging out with us tonight thanks and for uh pumping out my ego <laughs> <laughs> and we will talk to you next time thanks bye, bye.